Hello guys and welcome to another Hacker Rank video. Uh, we're going to be solving the kangaroo problem. It states, you are choreographing a circus show with various animals. For one act, you are given two kangaroos on a number line ready to jump in the positive direction towards positive infinity. The first kangaroo starts at location x1 and moves at a rate of v1 meters per jump. And the second kangaroo starts at location x2 and moves at a rate of v2 meters per jump. You have to figure out a way to get both kangaroos at the same location at the same time as part of the show. If it's possible, return yes, otherwise return no. So based on this problem, we can say that the initial position plus the jump rate for kangaroo 1 has to equal the initial position and the jump rate for kangaroo 2. Well, let's not say initial. Let's just say the positions plus the jump rate eventually has to equal to one another for both kangaroos to meet. All right. So what we can do is we can actually look at the graph that has been provided for us here to figure out a few things. First thing is we can see that kangaroo 2 initial position is actually greater than kangaroo 1's initial position. And this makes sense because if they're both in the same spot and kangaroo 1's uh, velocity is actually less than kangaroo 2's velocity, then they're never going to meet, right? Also, uh, we can see that if kangaroo 1's position eventually overgoes or outweighs kangaroo 2's position, that means that they will never meet, right? So based on this, we can actually formulate a very simple solution. The first thing to do is just uh, we can craft either a while loop or for loop. So uh, let me do a for loop instead. And we don't need any initializations because the values have already been passed in. We can just do x1, right? If x1 is less than or equal to x2, then we just want to figure out what the next position is going to be. So we're going to say x1, right? Plus equal v1. And then we can apply the same logic to x2. All right, so next what we want to do is figure out if x1 is equal equal to x2. If that is the case, it means that they actually meet, so we can go ahead and return yes. If x1 overgoes or is greater than x2, that means that they will never meet, so we can go ahead and return All right, so let's go ahead and run the solution. First thing we do is uh, run the test case. And we can see that this both pass and we can submit for all the solutions. All right, however, we know one thorough thing about this problem. The thing is that we know that x1, right, kangaroo 1's position plus jump rate, right, equals to kangaroo 2's position plus jump rate. So we can actually come up with a formula for that, right? So eventually, if you solve it, you should get uh, kangaroo 1 uh, divided by kangaroo 2, all right? And we can do this all, all based on the velocity this time instead of the position. The first thing we have to know is that the... Uh, that uh, kangaroo 1's, right, kangaroo 1's velocity has to be greater than kangaroo 2's velocity, okay? So what we can do is we can say that if uh, the velocity for kangaroo 1 is less than or equal to the velocity for kangaroo 2, then they're never going to meet, all right? Next thing that we can do is we can take the position for kangaroo uh, 2 minus the position for kangaroo 1 mod the uh, velocity for kangaroo 2 minus the velocity for kangaroo 1 and if that is equal equal to 0 it means that kangaroo the uh, distance right between kangaroo 2 and um, kangaroo 1 are actually factors so that means that at any given point um, they can actually meet if that is not the case and doesn't return anything, anything other than 0 um, that means that they will never meet right so based on those we can create a new solution 
So uh, let's go ahead and uh, re-implement this. So this time we need a for loop. We're just going to say if uh, v1 right is less than equal to uh, v2, then we're going to go ahead and return uh, no. Right. Um, else, or what we can just do instead of doing else, we just return. Uh, let's see how it's a good way to do this. Um, let's do x two minus x one, right? Mod v two minus v one, and if this is equal equal to zero then we want to go ahead and uh, return yes otherwise we're going to go ahead and return no and that should be it so let's go ahead and um, run this all right so let's go ahead and do a quick run and this passes for both case now let's go ahead and submit Alright guys, this will be it for this tutorial. If there's anything else that you guys don't understand, please drop me a comment in the section. Uh, drop a comment in the comment section. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask anytime. Uh, if you guys haven't uh, subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit the like button. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next Hacker Rank simple, easy tutorial. Peace.